percent this year. It's a moment. Speaker. In terms of the cost of the high cost of petrol, diesel and heating oil, I'm sure the Minister's aware that Fair Fuel UK has published a statement from a whistleblower over the last few days alleging that the oil commodity trading market is being rigged in a similar way to the LIBOR interest rate in the way that that was manipulated. So will the Minister confirm that he will back the call for a wider investigation and inquiry into the UK oil trading market by the FSA or the Bank of England, whichever is more appropriate? Well, I applaud the work of the Fair Fuel UK campaign in drawing attention uh, to these sorts of, of issues. And having discussed the matter with Clive Maxwell of the OFT, I can reassure her that if the call for information that they're currently uh, engaged in yields evidence of real problems in the fuel market, then they will launch a full investigation. Mr. Robert Alphonse. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I, I want to make three points today. Firstly, that petrol and diesel have never been more expensive in real terms. Secondly, that oil companies are uncompetitive and are not passing on cheaper fuel to motorists. And thirdly, there is increasing evidence that dodgy speculators are rigging the market and forcing up the international price of oil. Now, I should say that this debate is only happening today partly because of the work of Fair Fuel UK, the hard work of Peter Carroll and Benson Wilson to give a voice to thousands of motorists across the country. And in the space of two weeks, they have got 27,000 signatures on this issue. As one of the signatories to this motion also praise our honourable friend, the member for Harlow as well. Would you agree with me and many of our other fellow Fair Fuel and petrol price uh, campaigners that there's nothing more governments can do at the moment to help hard press families uh, commuters and small businesses can cut fuel duty and also there's nothing more that an oil company can do to support our economy at this tough time than act in a fair and transparent way in the way in which they price their products.